Welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Series. This is episode 4. On the last episode, I finally got the Ring of Elements, which was a very crucial item for my construction goal of 80, as the Ring of Elements teleports you to the four basic altars. And one of them is the Earth Altar, which is right next to the Sawmill. So that will save me incredible amounts of time on this construction training. 80 construction is super important because then I can unlock my stash units. Meaning high level gear that I get in PVM, I can actually keep it and store it like the blue moon set. We made insane amounts of progress towards that goal in this video. So sit back and enjoy. Oh, our first construction level. Apparently we're getting like over 40k an hour, which is absolutely phenomenal. Finally time to make this oak treasure chest. Oh, so nice. I can actually store this black pickaxe that I just got too. So that's pretty decent if I just need an axe. Sweet, I can make this though. Easy. 100 points, 250 more to go for the plank sack. All right, we just hit a pretty big milestone here. 50 construction. There we go. We can now build the teak portal frame, teleport focus. So we can actually uh, install some permanent teleports in the house. First, build the arty. So there's a lot of things I can definitely optimize when it comes to mahogany homes because there's so much traveling involved. And I just remember that log sack that I got last episode, it's going to be super useful for construction because it hosts 28 logs. So that means I can literally, uh, for example, I'm going to Teaks now since I'm all 50 construction. I can go cut two inventories worth of Teaks instead of one. So then I don't have to go there as often, saving me a lot of time. 62 beginning, guys. Good XP at Teaks. Oh, I did finish camo. Oh, it's only three pieces. Oh, snap. I think I should be getting XP lamps now. Cup of tea, please. Oh, yes. 58 construction. And I've only used like 300k, I want to say, so far. And I've gained so many levels today. Yo, first woodcutting level today? 63? Or, or actually, no, second, maybe xp drop there it is 60 construction i am going crazy right now with these levels look at that beautiful 100 contracts done perfect 350 points and now i can buy myself another upgrade for this training and it's gonna be so nice all right go to the rewards and we're gonna get ourselves a plank sack i've never actually had this before in my life on any account oh wow i can fill multiple types like 20 at a time oh this is so good it's gonna synergize so well with the law basket dude oof we're we're just gaming right now dude gaming gaming all right on to more construction let's go all right so i think this is how it's gonna work so you saw that i planked and then the logs instantly disappeared and that's because it went into the plank sack so if i check it it holds 28 so that's really freaking awesome and that way we can just plank everything at once and there will be no task that i can't do in one trip nice a whole 61 construction yo 62 construction sweet more room increase but i can casually just t boost to make fancy dress box or whatever i can make the teak version easily now so that's awesome it's really important because i can get a lot of xp lamps once i uh, fill out all those costumes all right, about six hours and change of construction today, and we've gained 300,000 experience today, and I still haven't even used up all my money. only used about half, but 63 construction. Holy shit. Massive gains. 65 construction, and... Coins is definitely going down, guys. So we're going to take a break very soon. Ooh, 65 wood cutting. This is pretty good. Decent chance I might end up doing silly skips. Mushroom wood cutting. If I'm in an emergency need of all those XP lamps. Yo, ho! actually first full day of doing Mahogany Homes with the Plank Sack and Antiques. And the rates are really nice, though, for sure. Significantly better than... Oaks, I want to say 45k versus like 62k, so we're definitely on break from construction for a bit. 
to work on 48 Slayer and also uh, kill some Fever Spiders when I get to 42. For the money, for more construction. This will be the last level for a while because I'm broke now. 75k. We need to make approximately 2.5 mil GP. So, yeah. We're going to be focusing on Slayer for a bit to get to the Fever Spiders and Perilous Moon. If you guys don't know what the Project Rebalance stuff is, it's this ongoing thing where they're just like balancing a lot of old stuff that needs some tweaking, right? So a lot of it involves skills like Slayer, like Fever Spiders, right? That was like a dead content Slayer monster. And they decided to buff it, making it really rewarding, like drops a lot of alcohols and stuff. And even with crab gear, as long as I, I can kill it, I can make literally several hundred thousand GP an hour, pure gold. And that's amazing because that would make my construction grind a lot quicker, right? So we got to go for that. Today's goal is work on some Slayer. But uh, once we get some people going for Barbarian Assault, we're going to do that too. Because I would love to get a torso right about now. And it's also storable, of course, in the house. So it is a must-have on the Ultimate Iron Man. Unfortunately, doing Barb Assault on an Ultimate Iron Man turned out to be actually quite a pain and also scary because... Stuff like Rune Pouch, they don't let you go in to Barb Assault. So normally you can bank it, but for me, the only way to get out of my inventory is to die and just leave it on the ground. So that means in between games, I have to go back to my death pile, pick up all my stuff, and then die again, and then do some uh, Barb Assault. So basically, like, two games max uh, with, like, an average team an hour before I have to re-suicide. I almost messed up. One thing about the Ultimate Iron Man, there's, like... Stuff that has a destroy option, stuff that used to have a destroy option, like like the Varak armor, but doesn't have a uh, destroy option. And then this item, for some reason, has a freaking destroy option, so I feel like uh, I probably would lose it if I die with it. Uh, I guess you can check this beforehand, yeah. Rights from the future, so far it seems that most items will stay on the ground even with the destroy option, so for the most part, it's not that dangerous anymore on the ultimate. So one of my good friends is with me that is really good at BA and if you guys uh, know anything about BA there is this cannon that you can shoot like eggs that you get from the monsters in there to uh, help you kill things and of course you mainly use it for the queen at the end of the Barbasol but effectively he can stall the cannon in a way with emotes that multiple people can shoot the same egg so that's super OP especially for the queen wave because then you can literally make like one egg and then you can stall enough that people can shoot it like basically eight times with one egg. But yeah, that's it. We are absolutely uh, freaking done. Shout out to the boys and some other people and uh, Mr. Andrew as well that was here. And uh, yeah, we, we have some good points. Uh, I could probably level this to two. And that's really good if I go for diaries in the future. But I'll just save the points, you know, and just level up whenever. First things first, I gotta just make sure I get this torso, right? There we go. Torso is on the account. Looks good. And uh, let's see if we can level up now. Do I have enough points? Oh, sweet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I have extra points, so we'll, we'll get level 2 defender. Now we can do some Slayer in style. We got the extra max hit. Okay, I think I have everything. Alright, it's time to begin our Slayer grind. We need to get to at least 42 for Fever Spiders, but ultimately I need 48. For the Slayer Master of Choice, though, we're going to do Konar. She gives the Brimstone Key, so it's pretty nice extra loot that I can put in my looting bag. And I have so much space, so might as well. And we get Fire Giants. Holy shit. Definitely going to put this on Herbaler, but the reason why we're doing this quest is... So we can get 1100 total, but mainly is so I can teleport to the Karen Center because uh, we're doing Slayer. And you know what it, what it is with Slayer nowadays? You go to the catacombs all the time. Oh, I can hit a 29 though, potted with the fighter torso. I guess that's my new max. Look at that. Instantly a Slayer level. First kill ever. Holy. Oh my god, no way. Three brimstone keys? Bruh. Oh, 30 Slayer. Damn. Holy. Let's go get another task. That was really nice. 18.8k Slayer XP gained. That one task. 
and also gain like 20 levels or something. I'm just going to summarize a bit of today's progress because my recording, I messed up the settings and there was just music and stuff. So anyways, I did get to 42 Slayer for the Fever Spiders. That was the uh, plan to make the rest of the money for the 80 construction, right? For the stash unit goal. And I ended up getting that done uh, through the Black Demon task. And I tried to do a bunch of clues. Uh, didn't get anything really too crazy from that. But I did have a bunch of brimstone keys and I got some decent loot from the brimstone keys. I wouldn't say any of them are super useful. I was hoping for steel bars for mahogany homes. But it's okay. The, the loot will be used for some levels across various skills. So I had to work on the quest rum deal too as well to unlock the fever spiders. Which meant I had to get 50 fishing. So I trained from 20 to 50 uh, in one day basically. I did uh, trouts. And Salmon River Fishing Method till 30. And that lets me do Temporos, right? Temporos minigame, I did the standard method in the Temporos uh, world, mass world. And I got to 50 pretty quickly. I also did all the calm achievements while I was going for the fishing grind at the Temporos for fun. And I would say it's probably going to be worth it in the future anyways. But yeah, I pretty much have all the requirements. I just have to start Rum Deal the next time I can play RuneScape. Unfortunately, the next day, Jagex decided to nerf the Fever Spiders. So that means I gotta make some other plans to make money for the 80 construction. At least all the skilling stuff is something I have to do eventually anyway, so it's not a complete waste. Before I go on with more construction progress, let's talk about the other stuff that I've been doing on the side. So I've been doing a lot of the burr houses, the CB runs, and AFK and MI crabs. They're on the same place. As I've mentioned, so it's really easy to get some good farming levels, uh, crafting, material prep, and also his spore seeds from the seaweed spores. Uh, burr houses is good for farming as well. And just for the hunter levels, the hunter levels will be really useful in the future for my range armor uh, called Mixed Hides, which we'll talk about in the future. Heck yeah, so much easier with the log sack to do burr houses. Look at that. Let's see, that is eight runs. Of burr houses inside this law basket. Oh my goodness. A 45 farming. Holy shit. Oh, I can grow maple trees now. Oh, perfect. I have like how many now in this looting bag? Six of them. Okay. Also farming guild too. All right, guys. We're going to get our first level 80 skill. Not going to lie. I've been going to follow more so often just to get like bananas and uh, sweet corns to pay for these trees. I'm going to go ahead and actually start this quest here. Quest is done. We're going to be able to teleport to this place. Look at this. Very strategic area here. Uh, the store is right here for the fruits. Eight freaking Hispora seeds, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's my sponsor. HelloFresh. Nice. Alright, so we can't really do too much yet here. Can't enter most of these areas yet. But I do have access to the giant ass compost bin, which is nice. Yo, boys, we're about to get 50 farming. Ooh, I can grow Aventos. Oh, man, these maple trees have been hooking me up, man. I'm only like halfway checked all the trees, but hey, 51 farming. Going to hit 85 strength by far my high skill, but one of the easiest. But the leveling is getting really slow now. We're on like 339k to the next level. So I think it's better for me to actually just focus on attack now. And like maybe even defense at this point. Just because yeah, it's going to take a while before I can even get more max hits on my strength. Ooh, 1200 total from that as well though. Because of my agility grinding the last few days when I was on the bus and stuff. I got 115 marks of grace. I'm kind of halfway to full graceful. So I think I'm going to get at least the graceful top and bottom out of the way. And the nice part is I can actually store the graceful even if I don't have the full set. But I do need a full set to take it back. Unfortunately, fever spiders, we missed out on that. They patched it. Since our plan has changed a lot, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get 40 Slayer done for the Perilous Moon instead. Because, you know, that mining method that I was talking about, the AFK method, would be nice to have that unlocked so I can utilize it at any point. And then we'll go back to uh, focusing on money making for the construction. There we go. 45 Slayer out of 48. Do you want to go? 
oh shit we just hit 49 prayer and pretty soon the prayer levels will go up even higher once we unlock cam Torm. now that i do have the agility level to actually finish the quest might as well hell yeah oh nice we're over 100 quest points but nice we got a new upgrade nice thing about nate's it's not is that it has no negative stats unlike the berserker helm and it also has prayer bonus i've been meaning to do this towards trap for the xp Put this into fletching so I can do tiers of guthics into herb for the mega play. And also, it's nice to make darts because then I can use that scurious. Okay, we're in the good part now. Let's put some into fletching here. What do we get? Six levels onto fletching. Nice. And then we do it again. Nice. 30 fletching. There it is. 48 slayer. I can now kill lizard Naguya. Which we do have to kill at least once. For the perilous moon quests, we have four brimstone keys on the way to 48, and this is where we stop for a while because we do have to focus more on scurious for the money making. But yeah, let's open it up. Already got pure essence and rubies. Oh, dragon dart tips mm. and more dragon dart tips. Okay, well, I guess we can bank them still. Nice, we actually got a fletching level though. Ooh. Nice, we're just making some bronze darts for Scurious. And now we also have bronze darts too, that we can make super easily. 200k, nice. Out of 2.5 mil approximately. Alright guys, we're going to take a little detour to unlock Ava's accumulator. Because we do have the range level to get the accumulator. I just need to do Ernest the Chicken and that's it. And we just do those two quests. I think it's going to be worth it because the accumulator is very easy to get back if I don't need it. Ah, there we go. Alpha's accumulator unlocked. And I can also just buy it back from Purdue, apparently. If I were to drop it and lose it. So that's really sick. Very convenient to get back. 80? 81. Okay, that's going to be some stonks herbler. We finally set it up so that tears would go straight to herbler. Going to take advantage of that for some time nice new new pb 27 herbal let's go oh hey i can use the shortcut let's freaking go 47 nice okay well we would have not actually been able to use this if i didn't do my new york trip bus ride agility training huh but yeah we're gonna be going to camp Torum now don't even have to beat the quests and the bosses I just got started and the best part is it's perfect timing to do some afk mining now because i have enough seaweed to get to 75 crafting for the future for like glories and like um the vine root pouch we've gone really everything that we needed from fossil island for the moment there you go we should be able to enter very soon we've been waiting a long time for this this is going to be a very useful place for the pvm stuff coming up but for now we're mainly going to be utilizing maybe some of the shops but mainly i'm going to be here this uh, thing called calcified rocks all right this is where we're going to be at for uh, a while there are so many people here like holy shit but yeah this is really good afk really good mine xp for the afk and you get the blessed bone shards, which is a lot of prayer, so. After a while of mining calcified rocks, you encounter an item called calcified deposits. They're effectively just more bone shards in one item, and you have to break it at an envo with a hammer to get the bone shards from it. And you'll also sometimes get these things called calcified moths, which actually is pretty common. But basically, these moths just teleport you straight to the city here, so it's really convenient for getting here. This method is perfect for Ultimate Iron Man because there's no banking involved. Once I have a full inventory of calcified deposits, all I do is break it at the info nearby, and then I go back to mining. Uh, well guys, I've been AFKing for a few hours, and we've already gained quite a few levels. This is apparently 5 per XP per bone shard minimum, so we're looking at 20,000 per XP already in a few hours, so we're getting a lot of good XP, especially the prayer stuff. That is for sure amazing fk as well especially with game sounds on like easy to tell when exactly i deplete a vein and i just go on to the next one 
Oh my god. That's sick. I got such a easy hard clue while I was mining. Anything decent would be a magic shortbow. Dang it. Alright, well, it's it's okay. At least money. We need money anyways. So I can just keep buying this. Oh shit, damn. This thing, this guy's got infinite stock. Oh. Alright, sweet. Now we're gonna use these blessed bone shards every day before I start like my PVM session. So do I just bless it here? Oh yeah, that's sick. Okay. There we go. I'm getting so lost. Okay, I found it. Alright, so everything's pretty much near each other. So the blessing altar is there, the liberation pool's there, so all we gotta do is now use it like this, right? Oh there we go. Oh my god, I just got 500 XP. Have you spam click? Oh sweet. There you go. We can do it even faster. Let's spam click. Huh? 50 prayer. Holy shit, dude. This is crazy. Okay, we are about to be done here. Oh, 90 combat as well. Nice. But yeah, cheeky 35k prayer just from AFK overnight. Also got to 57 mining too as well, but we stopped at 52 prayer, so that's nice. Since my fever spider plan got changed, I have to think about how else I'm going to make money, right? Like AFK wise, what am I going to do? So normally I do ice trolls, which will probably still be the play, but I want to explore another option because Falmore released a new thieving method that is somewhat AFK. And you can make money from it as well. So I'm going to go test it out and see how it goes. But we have to get to 50 thieving though to do it. So I did the fruit stalls in Hosidius for 45. And at 45 I was able to do the blackjacking. Classic method that causes uh, arthritis for some. And I did that from 45 to 50. And then I checked out the follow more thieving method. And sure enough it is somewhat afk at least half the time it is afk uh, when the criers call out it distracts one of the citizens and then you can just keep pickpocketing for i don't know like 30 seconds or something but it's not as afk as i was hoping for so and i don't really need the xp but i think in the future when i do need to train thieving for some requirements i will go here and uh, knock some casual thieving out nice 1250 total and 55 range not bad wonder what our stats are gonna go get up to once we make all the money clean kill yo i got it yes I, we got it back oh yes i missed you yeah we can make the rat maze and it's gonna be a good time 32 and it's still not even my max hit what the hell's my max hit <laughs> no holy shit at 36 oh my god and this is just with regular strength pots. I've upgraded my stats quite a bit since last time, but holy. Um, yeah, we're hitting 36s and shit now. Damn, 1 minute 40 seconds. Oh my god. Damn, my kills are like twice as fast. Almost. Nice 56 range. 4 more levels to go for our... Future new range gear called Mix Hides, which we'll talk more about when we get there. Now we're at the 500k barrier. Oh, we're past it, actually. I guess our AFK for the next few days is going to be at Ice Rolls. And the crazy part is, I just got an insane damage buff. Look at that. I'm hitting 10s now with my Fire Strike, which is normally not possible. I just hit a 14, by the way. But you see... They changed a lot of stuff overnight. Magic stats and range stats defense-wise got split up. So now magic has like four elemental stats. As you can see, fire against ice trolls means I do two times the damage or something. Holy shit. I got my granite shield back. I think I'm going to keep this. I accidentally lost this when I broke my looting bag. Nice part is, guys, we got a mil GP now. Just AFKing overnight. <laughs> I, I gained like 300, 400k just off of freaking ice trolls, man. It wouldn't be nearly as fast, but because I'm killing them nearly twice as fast, that means, yeah, I'm, I'm getting almost double the amount of money. But <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. We're going to get the 2.5 mil pretty quick, for sure. Now that we have a really strong AFK moneymaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to do my first ever cleanup of my looting bag because now I'm starting to do quite a bit of farming the seeds i get from the ice rolls right 
Uh, these are all good for future herbalor. And there's definitely a lot of space I can get back. For example, like uh, these papaya tree seeds. I can just plant them right now. Um, we have some junk that could totally just be gone. Like uh, these tunas. I could just cook them and then get rid of them. Uh, two path key. I'm just going to drop that, honestly. Uh, feathers too. We can drop that as well. Diamonds. We can just cut those. All right, for these diamonds, uh, I'm going to just use this bank here to unnote them and then just craft them and walk. There's a gem store not too far away, so I can just go ahead and sell these here for a premium price. What's this? 49? Ooh, 49 crafting bullseye lanterns. That's nice. I was going to cook the tunas here, and you need the easy diaries, but I was going to do it today anyways, so... <laughs> Yo, this is kind of cool, though. I've never actually done this at Jody Course before. <laughs> oh, finally, we're done. All right, so the Kebbles Diaries is going to be way more useful than ever before. Just because they basically moved all the old rewards, or a lot of them, that was uh, blocked by the favor. All right, I've taken care of pretty much all the food. The tuna. 39 cooking, though. That's pretty sick. There we go, another prayer level. Shout out to the Ice Trolls for uh, being so resourceful. Hey, there it is, 70 attack. That's a pretty, you know, big deal. Yo, 200, Scurious Casey. Nice, man. I think we'll maybe get a bit close to 300 by the time I finish here, like, for good. Uh, I'm really glad to see you doing Scurious. Such fun. Medium clues are nice. Yeah, I've, I've already uh, done like five medium clues today. Oh, speaking of medium clues, I'm so happy I unlocked Camtorum, guys. Because this infamous emote clue here requires the admin square shield. If you play Iron Man, you know the admin square shield is pain points of early iron. But there is an admin square shield shop. Oh, I can't. Thank God. Yes. I was about to say if I had to like finish the quest or something, but no, thankfully you don't have to finish the quest. But yeah, Adam and Squishio, right there, so easy. No more RNG simulator to get it. All right, this is the sixth medium or fifth. I don't even know. I lost track. Easy, fifty-five prayer. Oh, preserve unlocked. If I have one. Holy shit! I'm getting so many prayer pots. Oh, there it is. 60 range this is such a, a big level for me because we have the ability to wear mixed hides whenever we do get it in the future so this is basically our wrap up here 294 kills me and clue and yeah we made a good amount of money we're almost 2.1 mil almost there boys already almost close to 2.5 mil only been doing this for about two days so pretty insane Holy moly. I just started the day. And I got a freaking curve bone. First one on the account. And this is really, really good. 6,750. As you can see, I have gotten the 2.5 mil GP that I need for the 80 construction goal to make the stash units and basically every other really good, useful thing in the house. Once I get like the actual ingredients for things like pools and nexus or whatever. So we're going to start doing that grind in the next episode. I got so many things done in this video. So I will be completing the construction goal in the next video and start working on some other goals towards that perilous moon and more bossing.